to mask. I'm tired of wearing it, but um, I know it's for my safety. Or not to mask. Because I don't like the mask. <laughs> I hate the mask. On planes, trains, and buses. I think remove it. If it's, if it's okay to, to be in a restaurant and not wear it, and the, the filtration system in a plane is supposed to be hospital grade, remove them. With mask mandates dropping all across the country, the travel industry is trying to seize some of that momentum as well, sending a letter to the Biden administration saying in part, America is reaching an inflection point where endemic-focused policies can replace pandemic-driven restrictions. Ernest and Izona Murphy here at Reagan National Airport today agree. Yes, you should have the option. With the COVID numbers dropping, I think it should be up to the individual if they want to continue wearing their masks or not. Now, look, of course, part of this is an effort to get people to come back here and fly again. According to the U.S. Travel Association, business travel spending, that was down 50 percent last year compared to pre-pandemic times. When you talk about international travel spending, that was down a staggering 78 percent compared to pre-pandemic times. Well, the current federal transportation mask mandate is set to expire on March 18th. Some say they'll continue to wear a mask no matter what. Numerous medical studies show that highly protective masks like those N95s and KN95s are incredibly effective at keeping out most germs when they're worn properly. Adam Tuss, News 4. The travel industry is also asking for an end to COVID testing for all inbound international travelers who are fully vaccinated.